up next, we meet a best-selling author who proves there's power in the written word. Activist and author of Reign of Gold, Victor Villaseñor has not only helped put Chicano literature on the map, but his published works have brought pride to a people whose stories have been waiting to be told for a very long time. Heroes is brought to you by the U.S. Army. There's strong, then there's Army strong. Prize nominated author Victor Villaseñor is a shining example of overcoming the odds. As a young boy who struggled with learning disabilities, Victor became a fighter who soon learned the pen was mightier than the sword. Never, ever, ever entered my mind to be a writer. I always thought of myself as a worker, so I thought I would either work or ranch or farm. I flunked the third grade twice because I'm dyslexic and I didn't know how to read. And yet I knew I had to do it because I had all this anger and hate from English only and the, the abuse that us Mexican kids got and all the unfairness of life and, and by writing it out it was like it would release me, would get it out of me. The opposite of depression is expression. Using the power of expression, Victor went on to write nine books, 65 short stories and received 265 publisher rejections. Determined to succeed, Victor later became one of the leading authors in Chicano literature who not only writes about the Mexican-American experience, but shares the true life struggles of his own family. I had a vision that I was going crazy and the only way to solve it was to write my family's story so we would have a story of ourselves. What I want to do is I want to write about Los de Abajo, the ones at the bottom. My writing is to inspire us and give us hope. This book, Reign of Gold, took me 16 years to write and get published. I interviewed hundreds, thousands of hours for my parents and aunts and uncles. And I hiked into the mountains of Mexico. This is a story I heard over and over and I couldn't believe it. Don that gray eyebrow shot up. The stones were gold nuggets. Picking one up, Don Carlos put it to his teeth, marking it. Via Señor recognizes that he has a unique point of view to offer aspiring Latino storytellers. Write with your guts, with your heart on the page. Forget about polishing or spelling right. Just get it done. And then on the third draft, start polishing and working. And you'll be amazed how you grew, how the story grew, how your insights and your focus became sharper where you are way better than you ever thought you were possibly could be.